the first thing I will say is that uh, children, you know, or the next, you know, the young generation, if you want to call it that, this is your world. The metaverse, online experiences, video games, actually, this is your world. Nobody knows it better than you. And so this is your opportunity. In fact, it is because humans have the power of the dream and the idea and the imagination that they can create amazing things. And it's not even about what happened in the last 10 or 20 years. I mean, if you think about it, you know, when Steve Jobs launched the iPhone, you know, he had a dream about how people might communicate in the world. Every person in Hong Kong, I think, is an interesting example. Maybe they don't necessarily create something big like the iPhone, but there's a lot of people in Hong Kong who have ideas. And there's a lot of things that they're doing in Hong Kong that are maybe not typical, but every single day, people have small ideas. And even those small ideas, people will say, oh, that's crazy, or I don't think it's a good idea, or you shouldn't do it, right? And again, you know, every single day, when you tell your children, you can't do this, this is not possible. Actually, what are you doing to your children? You're telling your child that actually there is a limit. And you're not telling them that there's a limit overall. You're telling them that you have a limit. This is not possible for you. You can't do this. And inadvertently, we are limiting their potential. And by the time they're grown up, they are thinking carefully. They don't think with open boundaries because all their life they've been told what they cannot do. So I think this is a big thing that uh, you know, we need to, you know, we do need to fix if we can societally to create you know, an environment that fosters more creativity and imagination. The first thing I will say is that uh, children, you know, or the next you know, the young generation, if you want to call it that, this is your world. The metaverse, online experiences, video games, actually, this is your world. Nobody knows it better than you. And so this is your opportunity where you know, you know the environment better than others. You know, why do you have to necessarily play by the rules of someone else in a world that maybe you don't know that well, right? So, so, so that's my first point in terms of, you know, you have a natural advantage, so take advantage of it, I would say. The second thing I would say is, and we say this to everyone, is that, you know, it's not easy to, to maybe find, but, you know, if you have a purpose, and you know, it, it can be your own business, it can be work, it can be anything you want. But if you have a strong purpose in your life, then everything is achievable because especially a purpose that is greater than yourself. And I think in Hong Kong, especially, there is sometimes this, you know, um, because of the history and because of the cost of everything, sometimes we think that our purpose is to make money, right? And I think the problem is that if we do that, at an early age and we only think about, you know, the purpose is making money, actually that is not going to necessarily bring you sort of the achievement and, you know, maybe the happiness that you're looking for. So finding what's important for you is, you know, the, is, is what's impactful and will give you purpose. Uh, and then, you know, everything else will flow from there because you have found something that is, you know, important for you. 